that which has made them drunk has made me bold. What has quenched them has given me fire. Hark! Peace. It is the owl that shrieked, the fatal bellman which gives the sternest good night. What's about it? The doors are open and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged their possets, the death that nature do contend about them, whether they live or die. Who's there? What ho? I'm afraid they have awaked, and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Hark! I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss them. Had ye not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear the noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. As I descended. I. Hark, who lies in the second chamber? Don't obey. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. This one did laugh in his sleep, and one cried, Murder! As they did wake each other, they stood and heard them. But they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. They are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us, and amen the other. As they saw me with these hangman's hands, listening to their fear, I, I could not say amen as they said, God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore? Not I pronounce amen. I had most need of blessing, and amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. I heard a voice cry, Sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care. The death which takes life. Sword away was back. Nature's second course. Chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? Still the cry. Sleep no more. To all the house. Glamis hath murder sleep, and therefore Cowder shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that cried thus? Why, worthy thane, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go, get some water and wash that filthy witness from your hands. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go, carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to, to see what I've done. Look on it again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but his pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms with all, for it must seem their guilt. Whence is that knocking? How is it with me that every noise appalls me? What hands are here that pluck out mine eyes? Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood from my hand? No, this my hand will rather the multitude of the seas incarnadine, making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. I am knocking, South Entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy it is, then. Your constancy hath left you unattended. Oh, more knocking. Get on your nightgown, lest occasion call us and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed but best not know myself. 
Wake Duncan with thy knocking. <laughs>